Emperor Zorlock, we can't let you destroy planet Earth. It's our favorite planet. But it gets in the way of the sun when I'm topping up my tan. But you don't tan, you're green. What at the point? Destroying a planet is against galactic law. Yes, and it's very, very, very naughty. <laughs> I have an entire battle fleet at my disposal. A million warriors armed to the teeth with state-of-the-art pulse disintegrators, gravity cannons, and guff rays. Who would dare try to stop me? You? If, if you really want to blow something up, what about Venus? No one will miss it. Uh, apart from the Venusians. Oh, I have an idea. What about if you and Coordinator Zang have a duel? We will do no such thing. A duel? I rather like that idea. Now look what you've done. But I want to fight a human. And definitely not men. I want to fight Earth's mightiest champion. If he or she can defeat me, I shall spare their planet. Earth's mightiest champion it is. I shall return in three hours for the greatest battle of all time. How exactly are we going to find Earth's mightiest champion? I think I know where to start. Danny's house? <laughs> hey guys, my name's Danny and this is her best friend Jack. Right. My name's Danny and this is her brother Max. And his best friend Ben. As I was saying, my name's Danny and this is her friend Ruby. And I'm her and this is the brilliant oh, oh, I am Earth's mightiest champion. Aren't you taking this a bit seriously? I mean, it's only a dance game. Yeah, which I happen to be the most awesome player ever at. Uh, in your dreams. <laughs> Eat my silky moves. <laughs> <laughs> undefeated alien dance-off champion of the world. Well, technically, you're the undefeated alien dance-off champion of the house. I don't get why I keep losing. I'm twice as fit as you two. Well, Ruby, you really can't stand losing. Losing is for losers. Then why don't you stick at something you're good at? She's good at losing. <laughs> Should we start the game, Twinkle Toes? Let's make it quick. I'm Jim McCurtys in an hour to film a scene with a giant vicar. <laughs> don't ask. All right, this will be over before you know it. Oh. think Jack is Earth's mightiest champion? You heard him, Coordinator, he said to himself. He was talking about a video game. Emperor Zorlock is the most feared barbarian in the universe. He has muscles of steel, reflexes like coiled springs, and breath like a bucket of rotten prawns. <laughs> and Jack is just a DJ who likes stuffing his face with junk food. Zorlock will be here in three hours. If we don't present him with Earth's mightiest champion, he's going to destroy the planet. Ah, here it is. Our teleporter. We can't go back down there, Coordinator. Last time was a near disaster. And Jack won't even remember us. We wiped his memory. Then we'll just have to unwipe it. <laughs> What's happening, Smelly? I thought you two were playing ultimate chess. We decided to call our draw. Whoa, it's that alien dance off. Where'd you get this? Hands off. I don't want you to break it, sell it, or steal it. I share my things with you. The only thing you've ever shared with me is tonsillitis. Technically, that's still sharing. Can I have a go of the game, please, Danny? <laughs> don't fall for it, Danny. She's even naughtier than Max. I'm not naughty. I just have definite values to you. Oh, come on, let's have one quick go. No, I don't trust you. But with flesh and blood. Yeah, and the thought of that makes my skin crawl. You're a horrible little weasel, Max, and I wish you were never my brother. Now get lost. Come on, Maisie. Let's leave the older children to their game. <laughs> That's a bit much, wasn't it, Daddy? It gives as good as it gets. Ha! I danced you over the edge of the volcano straight into that lava serpent's mouth. I win! <laughs> well, come on, how's that fair? I wasn't even looking. In your face, magma pants. <laughs> <laughs> come on. How dare she talk to me like that? Like Ruby treats me any better. It's an outrage. All I've ever done is dedicate my entire life to embarrassing her. Same here. To Danny, I'm just some stupid kid. You think Ruby would see the funny sides of all the times I've sold her stuff, posted her personal details online, or put my heels in her bed? Maisie, do you think I'm a bad brother? If you're a bad brother, then I'm a bad sister. And I know for a fact that I am an amazing sister. Do you think Danny would be nicer to me if I was nicer to her? Whoa, stop the press! Where did that crazy idea come from? I'm not sure, but I think it's time I became a better brother. Dum, dum, dum! I am so glad you've decided to resolve your differences. We've been fighting forever. Let's start at the beginning. 
When do you first remember arguing? Well, it all started way back when we were little kids. Max challenged me to a game of rock, paper, scissors. Max beat me and spent six months gloating about it. Ever since then, he's always had to have one up on me. He can't let things go. Well, uh, why don't you just let bygones be bygones and shake hands? How about it, Danny? Sure. Why not? Oh, yes! <laughs> scissors defeats paper. I win again. Loser! Loser! In your face, loser! <laughs> Do you have everything you need for the mission? I think so. Reminder trunk. Mm -hmm. Pack lunch. <laughs> flask of weak tea. <laughs> scarf. Camera. Spare scarf. Spare, spare scarf. Autograph book. Spare autograph book. Spare flag. We're not going on a pleasure trip. Well, I'll leave the sandwiches behind then. Obviously bring the sandwiches, but leave everything else. Even my scarves? Even the scarves. Now brace yourself. I'm almost ready to teleport us. Just need to remember how this thing works. <laughs> you okay to keep Max and Maisie away from my stuff while I'm at work? I'll watch them like the hockiest hawk that ever hawked. They won't come within 20 meters of your game. Cheers, Ruby. See you later, guys. Have a good day. Right. Alien dance off? Nah. I've got a new challenge now. Make sure Max and my sister stay upstairs and out of trouble. <laughs> oh, fine. I'll just dance those aliens back into space on my own then. <laughs> We're not here to meet our idols, coordinator Zark. True. We're on a very important mission. We've got less than three hours to save planet Earth. <laughs> You're already eating the sandwiches. I'm hungry. So when Danny comes home from work, I'm going to present her with this massive bunch of flowers. So you're really doing this? And then I'm going to read out an apology for all the times I've treated her badly. Oh, Ruby, what a pleasure. How can I help you? Whatever you're both planning, I'm going to stop you. Excuse me? You heard. I'm going to stop you, Max, and I'm going to stop you so hard you'll need to get earbuds fitted. I don't think you do want to try and stop me. Max has planned to buy Danny a massive bouquet of flowers and apologise for being nasty to her. You expect me to believe that? What exactly is it you think we're up to? You're both planning to take Danny's game. Oh, you're completely wrong. Huh. I don't think so. You're two of a kind. Trouble with a capital T. And that's tea with no sugar. You barely <laughs> even know me. Oh. <gasps> Danny's told me all about you, Max. And if you even set one foot outside the store while Danny's at work, I'll make sure you regret it. You're a disease, baby. And I'm the cure. What's the point in trying to change if everyone just thinks the worst about me? If you're serious about this, it's going to take time to prove to people you can change. Forget change. I'm through with change. If Danny and her friends just think I'm some, some stupid kid who wants to cause trouble, that's exactly who I'll be. I'm going to steal Danny's game after all, and you're going to help me. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Behold, my funky disco, you alien scumbags. <laughs> help us, Jack. Come on. Help! Ah! Oh, sorry, I said alien scumbags. Just please don't probe me. I'll do anything. I've got a terrible fear of impossible and totally unlikely things. Jack is us. Coordinators and coordinators are. Don't you remember? I think I remember meeting a pair of aliens. Well, there goes Earth's mightiest champion, wetting his pants and running away. Prepare the device. Jack! Oh, Jack! Go away, I'm not here. Please, just keep away from me. Do it, coordinator. Use the reminder trunk. No, oh, please, please don't exterminate me. I remember. Zang. Zark, you're back. How you been, guys? <laughs> Jack, we need your help. But I'm a DJ, <laughs> not a fighter. If you don't do it, we have to find someone else. We haven't got time for that. Well, well who's it you want me to find exactly? This guy. I'm Emperor Zorlok, conqueror of the Celestine Archives. Wielder of the mighty spear of galactic destruction. Holder of the 100 meter breaststroke certificate of doom. <laughs> I'm fearsome, I'm handsome. And I make a mean cheesy omelette. <laughs> uh, what was that? 
That was a video Emperor Zorlock made for an outer space internet dating website. What, you want me to fight him? Well, if you don't, Zorlock will destroy the Earth. Yeah, but won't fighting be slightly dangerous? Oh, incredibly <laughs> dangerous. Zorlock has over a thousand years of combat experience. He's the most feared warrior in the cosmos. The mention of his name makes even the dreaded Orbrons go weak at the knees. And the Orbrons don't even have knees. Why me? And all the best at defeating alien scumbags. You said so yourself. Those aliens in a video game, there's a teeny bit of a difference. We can train you. You're not scared, are you, Jack? <laughs> scared? Me? <laughs> Please, I eat whips like him for breakfast. I thought humans preferred cornflakes. <laughs> I knew you were our man. Let's go. Oh, Nelly, hang on. I never said I'd do it, OK? I'm busy today. Oh, busy with what? I've, uh, I've got to wash the car. You don't have a car. You don't even drive. Exactly. You know, first I need to learn how to drive, save up the money to buy a car, actually buy the car, and then wash it. Jack, if you do this, you could be a hero to the whole of humanity. And you could really show off to Danny and Ruby. So what do you say? <laughs> okay, okay, I'm in. What choice do I have? Oh, yay! Oh. We knew you were our man. Let's get started. We've got less than three hours to save planet Earth. Huh, no pressure then. I'm so excited to be back. What are you up to in there? <laughs> hey, Danny. How's the flint going there? Is Max behaving himself? Don't you worry about Max or my sister. I've got them both under surveillance. Danny, this is James. He's playing our vicar. Hi, Danny. Gotta go. Ah, oh, nice hat. <laughs> she thinks she's so smart. Don't underestimate my sister, Max. She doesn't back down easily. I'm never back down from a challenge either. This is where we are, the top of the house. And this is where Danny's game is. And this is Ruby. So, what's the plan? First, I need my paints. Then I need you to tell me everything you know about Ruby that can help us. Her weaknesses, her insecurities, her flaws. I'll enjoy that. And then I need you to cause a distraction. Get your high-quality sporting goods here. Trailer chairs, tennis balls, netball skirts. Ah, oh, madame, can I interest you in some half-price athlete's foot powder for your stinky feet? Easy. What are you up to? Why do you always assume the worst about people? I'm just trying to make some pocket money. Ow! Pocket money now? My leg, it hurts. It really hurts. What's the matter? What is it? I don't know. It's a sudden shooting pain, like a needle jabbing right into it. Show me where it hurts. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where'd you think you're going? <laughs> I can still see you, Max. <laughs> well, it was worth a go. <laughs> nice try. It's not over yet. In order to defeat Emperor Zorlock, we must teach you the most ancient of our martial arts. <coughs> Yeah, I'm loving all these strange alien words. That's not what it's called. I just know how to fly. <laughs> to master our technique, you must first learn the rules of combat. Rule one, battles are won with the head, not with the fist. Rule two, disregard rule one. Hit him before he hits you. <laughs> rule three, if you try to hit him and miss, run away very, very fast. This is our most ancient and holy weapon. <laughs> The wobbly bobbly. I'm supposed to fight him with this. I can't do it. Where are you going? Oh, to make a sandwich. Sorry, guys, you have to find someone else to be your hero. <laughs> Clearly, we need to exploit one of Ruby's other weaknesses. What else can you tell me about her? She has a soft spot for charitable causes. This is good. What else? She has a weird fondness for animals. This is great material. I can work with this. Hand me the phone, Maisie, and watch the master at work. Hello? Thank goodness. We've been trying to get hold of someone who can help. Why? What's happened? A whale has washed up on the local beach. We need every good soul we can find to help rescue it. OK, I'll be there as soon as I can. I can't believe that worked. My sister is soft in animals to the point of stupidity. Let's go. <laughs> uh, how stupid do you two think I am, exactly? <sighs> Another point to the ribster. <laughs> we can't go through or past Ruby, so we'll have to go around her. A safe? It's a hidden door. This house used to be full of secret passageways, but Mum and Dad boarded most of them up. They never found this one, however. But why don't we use it already? 
swore I'd only ever use it as a last resort. Why? Oh. Eh. It goes via the plumbing. No, I think it was a last resort. That's just minging. Oh. <laughs> Why don't you fight him? Zorlock wants to fight a human. So, find a human who isn't as scared as I am. What about Ruby? There isn't the time to train her. Zorlock will be here any second. Jack, please. Zorlock's just a bully. He just needs someone to stand up to him. Uh, bullies are all cowards underneath. <laughs> well, he didn't look like a coward in that video. He looked like he was capable of ripping my head off and using it as a scatter cushion. Jack, please, <laughs> he's going to disintegrate your planet. Then, if you don't mind, I'd like to enjoy this last ever sandwich in peace. <laughs> You thought you could hide by coming to Earth. Well, I traced your biosignals. I promise you, Emperor Zorlock, we weren't hiding. We came here to find as mightiest champion. And where is this champion? <laughs> <laughs> is it you? Well, <clears throat> answer me. I said, answer me. <laughs> Hmm. Suspiciously quiet in there. Ready? No, babe. Stinks in there. Fine. I'll go alone. We'll keep in contact with these walkie-talkie watches. Wish me luck. What's wrong with you, human? Why won't you speak? I want my mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Reveal yourself, champion. Immediately. Reveal yourself, or I will order my battle fleet to turn this world to ash. <laughs> Next, Maisie. Come in, Maisie. This is Maisie. Have a zen there. Uh oh. What? The floor is slipping away from me. I think I'm gonna. Ah! Max, are you okay? Max! <laughs> Earth's champion. <laughs> alien! Alien! That isn't Earth's champion either. He is no. Take arms, human. We're safe. <laughs> Lovely. Defend yourself. You could hit me! That's just run for your life! Get back here! Get back here and defend your planet! <laughs> Hello? Danny! No, no, everything's under control. No suspicious noises coming from Max's room. Uh, how are things there? The guy playing the vicar hit his head on the studio lights. That's sending me home early. I do wish to be more careful. These lights are very expensive. No need to rush. Take your time. Everything's fine here. Probably. <laughs> OK, bye. Oh, what a combination. Oh, Max! There's only one thing for it. We have to get downstairs now. <laughs> you think that just by demanding it, I'm going to give in and let you go downstairs and take Danny's game. Oh, but Max is all trouble. Max is in his room. There's a secret passage that leads from his room to the kitchen. It's really, really smelly. He went down it, and I think he could be hurt. Maisie, you've tried some lines over the years, but that is just desperate. Oh, I'm telling the truth. That'd be a first. <laughs> <laughs> I promised Danny to keep an eye on you both, and I never back down from a challenge. So, tough. I'm not budging. Oh! Here is your honor. This is my understanding of what's going on. Who are you? I am Zorok, destroyer of things. <laughs> food. More food will take my mind off things. Good old reliable food. Come to me, my beauty. Why are you being such a coward, Jack? <laughs> Shut up. You're not real. Think of your pals. They're relying on you to save them. You're just my guilt talking. Do the right thing. Don't let Max face Zorlock alone. I know, I know. I can't let everyone down, but... but... I'm scared. Being a hero is about being scared, but doing the right thing anyway. You're right. Thank you, Sandwich. <laughs> Nay, <Nee>, bother. <laughs> it's time to step up. Just call me Earth's Mightiest Champion. Be a loving poppy back in the fridge, would you? There's a salmon bagel in there I'm rather fond of. <laughs> well, 
That was weird. <laughs> this isn't going well. Please don't hurt me. Leave him alone, you big bully. <laughs> I'm Earth's mightiest champion, and I'm here to defend my planet. I knew he'd come through. Well, well, well. This just got interesting. Looks like you had a lucky escape, puny boy. Okay, you're right. I'm lying. Max, Dad didn't fall down our secret passage. I knew it. I just keep lying to people a bit. I've tried to stop. But I can't! <laughs> Big lies, medium size lies, enormous lies. I'm obsessed. I'm such a terrible person. No, you're not. I am, and I'm horrible to you. Maybe we could both treat each other a bit better. You're such a good person. And I'm such a terrible little sister. <laughs> Aw, sorry, Maisie. Would it help to talk about your problems? It might, but first I'm going to go and check on Matt. What? Don't bother chasing after me. I've tied your shoelaces together. <laughs> <laughs> hey! <laughs> Of course I'm OK. I am Max. I am super cool. Are you trembling? Uh, no. <laughs> if you're the best the Earth has to offer, then this puny planet deserves to be destroyed. Wait! Why do you want to disintegrate the Earth? What's it ever done to you? Hello? It gets in the way of me having an even all over ten. But you're green. <laughs> right, me. Give her your... Aliens. No, do you believe that Max is in trouble? Hello? Looks all luck. Earth's a pretty amazing place. It's not perfect, but does it really deserve to be blown up? Look, I guess I've just got a lot of pent-up rage. I know, I know. Come on. <laughs> Let it all out. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> when I was little, none of the other podlings took me seriously. Becoming an intergalactic warlord was it was the only way I could get any attention. Plus, this job is just so stressful. I work such long hours. Well, it sounds to me like you need a holiday. What about a holiday on Earth? It's a beautiful place. And it's the only planet in the galaxy with television. Do you what? You don't have television where you come from. Show him, Jack. It's bad news, I'm afraid, Mr. Spellbob. The spider eggs in your hair are beginning to hatch. <laughs> what is this? Well, this is called a soap opera, but we have dramas, quizzes, and top-rated comedy shows starring beautiful people. Oh, I want a television. I'm sure you could buy one. I want this television. Oh, I think I'm in love. There's no way I could disintegrate the earth now. I've got too many TV shows to watch. Yeah, well, that's actually my, my friend's telly, so... Mm, come. Let us get married. <laughs> well, it looks as if the earth is safe once more. Well done, Jack. You use your head rather than your fist. You truly are Earth's mightiest champion. Can anyone explain to me what exactly is going on today? Don't worry about it. Don't worry. If you hadn't noticed, you're an alien. Yeah, and I'm Earth's mightiest champion. In your face, Rubes. <laughs> this place is crazy. Yeah, you get used to it. Max, Maisie, I owe you an apology. Oh, it's <gasps> Danny! OK, Danny's been at work, and I don't think she wants to come home to find two aliens in her house. Oh. Jack's right. Plus, I don't want to see Danny's reaction when she notices the TV's gone. <laughs> well done, again, for saving the Earth. Bye now. Wait a minute. So, what have we missed? I'm Earth's mightiest champion. You still going on about that game? <laughs> what has Max been doing? Why do you always think everything's my fault? Because it always is. Danny, I think we need to give Max and Maisie the benefit of the doubt a little more often. Yeah. If you hadn't leapt to the conclusion that I was going to try and break or steal your game, I wouldn't have been trying to break or steal your game. Oh, so you were up to no good. Not until you get in our faces. Yeah, and if Maisie hadn't jumped in when she did, I would have been pummeled by a vicious alien's bobbly bobbly. OK, <laughs> maybe I have been a bit unfair. You can have a go at Alien Dance Off. What do you say? Nah, it's far too unrealistic. <laughs> OK, I'm going to watch some TV. Where's the telly? <laughs> <laughs> Earth lives to orbit another day. Indeed it does coordinate as I. I had fun today. So did I. 
And you know what? I think deep down, Jack and his friends had fun too. <laughs> what a shame they won't remember us being there. Prepare to wipe their memories in three, two, one, wipe! <laughs> Hold on! That was the wrong button! That wasn't the amnesia ray control! You activated our nudity beam! <laughs> 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 <laughs>